Right everybody, welcome back to another pre-match preview ahead of our West London derby against Queen's Park Rangers tomorrow, live on Sky Sports. So it's the early kickoff tomorrow, kicking off at half past twelve in this game, and it's not going to be as a, it's not going to be an easy game as many people might think it will be. QPR have been in a good bit of form in the last couple of games, getting some good results against some tough teams recently, and they probably will fancy themselves to come to us, um, upset the apple cart, and pick up a good result for them. It'd be a tough game. Nonetheless, against a physical, well-drilled, typical Ian Holloway side. And as we've seen in previous games against Queen's Park Rangers, they do like to press us quite high up the pitch and get their foot in quite hard. They like to be quite aggressive and quite direct as well. So before we get into the review, as we normally do, we're going to look back at some past strikes from our game against Queen's Park Rangers in our 4-0 win in 2015-16 with goals from Moose Dembele, Ben Pringle and Ross McCormack. And they'll be on the screen for you to enjoy Robert Green wasn't uh, that convincing there, Sean. No, he wasn't. Uh, dropped it. That, that won't do his confidence any good, will it? Uh, coming out and dropping that ball. So the best thing to do for us now is try and get the ball right on top of him again and see how he handles that. Yeah, keep a bit of pressure on the QBR goalkeeper. Another cross coming in this time from the left. One, Moussa Dembele! Fulham 1, Queen's Park Rangers nil. Moussa Dembele! My goal to nil. Second goal really would be... Uh, Ideal as Moussa Dembele finds Ben oh, Pringle, oh, almost back to Moussa Dembele, good defending from Angela in the end, but Pringle wins it back for Fulham, onto his left foot, yeah! 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 Yes! 2-0 to Fulham! Slides a pass forward for Ben Pringle, good work from him to keep possession under pressure, and James Husband back to uh, Tim Ream, that's good work from Fulham. Keep in possession, Ream picks out Ryan Fredericks, 10 yards inside the Fulham half, back he goes to Richard Stearman, forward for Tom Kearney, to Tim Ream once more, to Jamie O'Hara, and across to James Husband, worked our way out nicely, Husband carrying it forward into the QBR half, Fulham attacking the puck in the end, here's Ross McCormack, 30 yards from goal, to Husband, to Kearney, left footed into Three the nil. box, to Ross McCormack, 3-0! <laughs> <laughs> Ross McCormack for Fulham. What a lovely passage of play, Sean. Some lovely strikes in that game. A very memorable performance for me. That was one of the games I do quite, I remember quite fondly against Queen's Park Rangers. It was a very good result on that Friday night. And then following that up, we did get beat by Wolves 3-0 on the following Tuesday. So it was a tale of two comparisons, really, from one extreme to the other. And that was Kit Simons', Kit Simons reign at Fulham in a nutshell, really. Inconsistent, and we just didn't really click under him, really. So moving into the previous team lineups for Queen's Park Rangers in their 3-1 win against Aston Villa on Tuesday night, this was. It was Alex Smithies in goal, Darnell Furlong, Ned Omanua, Joel Lynch, Jake Bidwell with the back four, a midfield four of Pavel Showick, Josh Schoen, Massimo Luongo and Ryan Manning with a front two of Eberechi Eze and Matt Smith. And our, our lineup against our, in our 2-1 win against Preston Saturday was Marcus Bettinelli in goal, a flat back four of Fredericks, Odoi, Reem and Matt Target, a midfield three of Tom Kearney, Kevin McDonald, Stefan Johansson, with a front three of Aite, Ryan Sessegnon and Alexander Mitrich going through the middle. So looking at QPR's last three results, unbeaten their last three as well. A couple of good results, as I said. Start kicking off for a 1-1 draw at home to Derby a couple of weeks ago, which is a good result for them, coming from behind to get a draw in that game. Followed by a 1-0 win against Sunderland, where Eberechi Eze scored the winning goal in that game to give them all three points against relegation threat in Sunderland. And then recently on Tuesday night, a 3-1 win against Queen, a 3-1 win up at Villa Park with goals, with the pick of the goals really from Luke Freeman really scored a lovely goal. Ryan Manning got a goal as well. So they're playing some good stuff at the moment. And as Ian Holloway said, he's got a plan to come and attack us this to, um, tomorrow. And he's going to try and spoil the party as he's come out and said as well. So... As I said, it'll be a tough game tomorrow. But look at their three danger men I've highlighted. Obviously, Matt Smith needs no instructions to all Fulham fans. QPR did sign him last January for a fee of around £1 million, I think it was, from us. A player who probably wasn't really one of Slavisa, didn't really fit Slavisa Jukanovic's style of play, but he's went to QPR and been an absolute focal point up front for them. Ed is there as well. The lad who was, on, who, was, who was on line at Wickham for the first part of the season. I did see him score two absolute crackers against Cambridge United in the first international break in October as well. He subsequently got recalled back, brought into the first team after playing some good, you know, some good form he was showing down in League Two. And he's repaid the faith, showing in Holloway with a couple of goals, one a goal against Sunderland, and some standout performances in the attacking front too for, for Queen's Park Rangers on Tuesday night as well. And the final danger man, in my opinion, for Queen's Park Rangers is Luke Freeman. A good technical player on his day. A wonderful effort as well. Scored a good goal on Tuesday night against Aston Villa as well with his left peg. A player who can make QPR tick at times. One of their main creative creative sparks, really. And when he's on when, when, when he's on form, 
when he's playing quite well, QPR seems to play quite well, and lots of their play tends to go through him as well. So look at our last, our last win at, at Craven Cottage against Queen's Park Rangers was obviously the 4 0 win in 15 16. The last time we played the Queen's Park Rangers at Craven Cottage, we did get beat 2 1. Tim Ring got one, we went 1 0 down thanks to a Connor Washington strike. Tim Ring made it 1 1, then Idris Asilla popped up at the end to make it 2 1. We did miss a penalty as well, Tom Kenny missing a penalty in the first half, which was saved by Alex Smithies. So at Craven Cottage, we probably did a win. The last league meeting was obviously back in September, which was a 2 1 win to us with goals from Ryan Fredericks, a subsequent an own goal really it was, of Jack Robinson and a Stephanie Hansen strike. Rui Fonte missed the penalty before Washington got a consolation goal and they almost, they almost nicked a draw at the end with Alex Smithies going close from a corner. My prediction for this game will be a 3-0 to Fulham. I think we're going to have a bit too much quality in hand for, for, for Queen's Park Rangers. I think we're a better side than Aston Villa, I think. A much more streetwise side. We've got to know how, how to win, but it will not be an easy game. I'm, so people who think they're going to, we're going to rock up tomorrow and it'll be a comfortable win, think again. It's going to be a tough game tomorrow in some cold conditions as well. Something that QPL will probably excel in, really. It'll be a tough game, but I'm going to go for 3-0. Two from Mitch Rich again I'm going to go with, and a goal for Ryan Sessignon as well. So there it, guys. There's my prediction for the Fulham vs. Queen's Park Rangers game. If you like it, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new as well. Comment your predictions as well. And we'll see you all tomorrow for the vlog, hopefully. Fingers crossed, we're permitting. We are full car snow tomorrow, so hopefully we can get down to the game and get back safe and sound and get the vlog out to you guys as well. So, yeah, fingers crossed. We'll see you tomorrow.